graders, today I'll be teaching you how to read numbers using the face value chart. And also, I'll be teaching you how to properly write numbers in standard form and in word form. Watch till the end! Welcome to the class of Miss Anne, where math is made easy. Today, we are going to talk about how we read and write numbers using the place value chart. As you can see, place values are grouped by what we call period or family. Each period or family is composed of three place values. These periods help in representing the value of each digit in a number. We have the ones or units period. We have the thousands period. We have the millions period. We have the billions period. Remember that the place value chart does not end here. How do we read numbers? Let's say we have this example. We read numbers by period from left to right. So in this one, we read 96 and mention its period. So that is 96,000 and read the numbers in the ones period. So, that is 254. Therefore, to say this number is read as 96,254. Take note of how we should write numbers in words correctly. Use a hyphen in writing compound numbers like 96 and 54. Use a comma to separate each period. Let me give you a bigger number. Here, we read 6 and mention its period. So that is 6 million. Then, read 896 and mention its period. So that is 896,000. And read the numbers in the ones period. So that is 54. Therefore, this number is read as 6,896,054. Same rule applies. Use a hyphen in writing compound numbers in words and use a comma to separate each period. Here, we use two commas since we need to separate three periods. How are we going to write the standard form of 96,254? There are two ways. We can write it as 96 space 254 or 96 comma 254. How about 6,896,054? There are also two ways. We can write it as 6 space 896 space 54 or 6 comma 896 comma 54 Take note that in writing numbers in standard form we use space or comma to separate each period That's all for today thank you Thank you for watching. Until our next lesson, see ya!